94% of entrepreneurs report working over 50 hours per week. In this video, discover the secrets to achieving work-life harmony and boosting productivity as an entrepreneur without burning out or sacrificing your quality time. I'm Lewis, I've been a personal trainer for nearly 10 years, working with over 1,000 plus clients. My online coaching, I ensure CEOs, entrepreneurs grow their business by optimizing health and performance without the time sacrifices, restrictive diets, or missing out on precious family time. On YouTube, I help you understand the key fundamentals to do it all by yourself. Mastering the art of work-life harmony is essential for entrepreneurs striving for success without sacrificing personal well-being. From setting boundaries and scheduling breaks to proactively and planning regular self-check-ins, this journey involves prioritizing non-negotiable personal time, ongoing process of reassessment and adjustment, and the delicate balancing between work and personal life. In today's video, I'm gonna explore the secrets to achieving work-life harmony and discover how successful entrepreneurs manage to juggle their startups and family life and overall health and well-being. So back in 2016, I had the pleasure of training one of my old clients now called Nick. He was a brilliant entrepreneur with a business that was soaring, doing really well, and that was an area which where he was really flourishing and didn't really need any help with. But the catch is his work-life balance was a little bit wonky, to say the least. Late nights at the office, family gatherings, given the old stiff upper lip, you name it. And his work-life harmony was, he would admit this as well, was a little bit chaotic. So once he got in touch, desperate for a solution to optimize his health and performance, I took him on as a client to craft a game plan that would make his entrepreneurial success match his health. I want to make sure this would sustainably fit in with his personal life and wasn't at the detriment to his, as I said, family or his overall health. Everyone is obviously different and the plan was tailored towards him. Even though he did feel the strain, we needed to hit the brakes a little bit on his work. And that was like trying to get everyone in it, which let's be honest, wasn't easy. The idea that success meant sacrificing personal time had him in a little bit of a pickle. He, like many entrepreneurs, believed that burning the midnight oil was the only path to building a successful business. Pressures, the never ending to-do lists, all added up and his personal life took a little bit of a backseat as well as his health but fast forward and his personal life was filling the screen. Family time was a little bit scarce, stress was through the roof, and he was starting to question whether the success of his business was worth the sacrifices in regards to his health. But then he did recognize that he needed a little bit of an overhaul, and then we got to work. We crafted a personalized plan that didn't just consider work tasks, also allocated quality time for family, recovery, his overall lifestyle, and personal growth. And he did embrace the changes. We set boundaries for work hours, scheduled family time, and incorporated activities he'd loved outside the entrepreneurial hustle. I've mentioned this in other videos as well. Ideally, I'm going to get all my clients on doing at least three sessions per week, 30 to 45 minutes, more if they can. But if you can also sprinkle in some active hobbies which you enjoy, for example, football, playing tennis, squash, swimming, whatever it may be, to take the mind outside of work, but also burn some calories as well. Getting the energy expenditure up is always going to be something which is beneficial. And it also wasn't just about balancing the scales, it was about creating a symphony where work and personal life harmonized. And this is why I follow my CEO health and performance blueprint, which covers all five pillars to success, which is linked in the bio, and I will tell you about more later in this video. And you know what, my client who I was just speaking about found a new rhythm, his business continued to thrive, now so did his personal life and his overall health. We were able to optimize his health and performance without the time sacrifices, restrictive diet, or sacrificing precious family time. And he showed that success isn't about burning out, but about finding the sweet spot where work and personal life do complement each other. Now he's not just an entrepreneur, he has optimized his health and performance without the time sacrifices, the poor sleep, or restrictive routines positive vibe spilled out as well as the results did spill out over into his business and his team noticed the change as well. So on that note, let's go over five imperative areas for you to upgrade your work-life harmony as a business owner, entrepreneur, or someone who's a high achiever. So number one is to prioritize your tasks. Overwhelming workload can increase stress and decrease productivity. So you want to prioritize tasks, not only helping and managing your workload, also 
contributing to your overall health and performance. Imagine feeling overwhelmed by your workload, leading to increased stress and decreased productivity. By implementing task prioritization, you can reduce stress, improve focus, and achieve a better work-life balance, ultimately enhancing your overall health and performance. Number two is to take some regular breaks. Difficulty in time management can reduce efficiency and lead to a little bit of work-life imbalance. So you want to take regular breaks, which are essential for maintaining optimal health and performance. So you want to picture yourself struggling with time management, leading to reduced efficiency and work-life balance. So you can take regular breaks, which include 10 to 20 minute walk, or doing something which is outside of work-related tasks. This can help you recharge, reduce stress, and improve cognitive function, leading to enhanced overall health and performance. Number three is to set clear boundaries. A lack of boundaries between work and personal life can increase stress and potential burnout. So the solution is to set clear boundaries, which is crucial for maintaining both physical and mental well-being. The stress and potential burnout will result in the lack of boundaries between work and personal life. So by establishing clear boundaries, you can reduce stress, improve work-life balance, and, and foster a healthier and more sustainable approach to work, ultimately enhancing your overall health. Number four, strategic planning and self-check-ins. Problem is ineffective task management, which can then lead to overwhelm and decreased personal time. So the solution is strategic planning and self-check-ins are vital to maintaining a healthy work-life balance. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and experiencing decreased personal time due to ineffective time management, this is probably catered for you. So by strategically planning tasks and conducting regular self-check-ins, you can improve focus, reduce overwhelm, and create more personal time for relaxation and self-care, ultimately enhancing your overall health and performance, which, if you haven't already noticed, is where it all links back to. Number five, prioritize health and well-being. The risk of burnout and long-term health issues in regards to your health is something which really does factor in for a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners. Prioritizing health and well-being is fundamental for sustaining long-term performance. If you're neglecting personal well-being, facing a risk of burnout and a long-term health issues is something which you at some point will face. By prioritizing your overall health and well-being, you can mitigate the risk of burnout, improve resilience and maintain sustainable performance levels, ultimately enhancing your overall health and performance. And the bonus tip for today, based on the research results, and the sixth tip today is not directly related to work-life balance or health and performance. Therefore, I'll provide an additional work-life balance tip based on common advice. So the bonus tip is to embrace the power of saying no. Overcommitment and excessive workload increases stress and decreases personal time. Embracing the power of saying no is crucial for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Maintaining entrepreneurs struggle with overcommitting and taking on excessive workloads leading to increased stress and decreased personal time. By learning to say no to non-essential tasks and commitments, you can prioritize your well-being, manage your workload more effectively, and create space for personal time and be able to relax, ultimately enhancing your overall health and performance. This is why I follow my CEO Health and Performance Blueprint 5-step system, which combines all five key areas. Head to the link in the description to watch the short video of exactly how I use this with all of my clients to get amazing results. Or alternatively, you can take the CEO Health and Performance Assessment Scorecard to analyze your weaker areas within your health and performance and which areas you can improve.